Good morning. Um, today I want to talk to you about a personal journey of mine through this uh, quest to challenge and change my art making process. Um, and on that quest, what I came to learn was that I needed to embrace technology. And in, and in embracing that technology, it has forever changed my art making. And of course, by extension, it's changed me. Um, with the addition of technology to the art making process, I'm able to create virtual worlds that combine dance, movement, technology, visual images into works that explore themes in fresh and exciting ways. And by doing that, I'm changing forever and breaking the old rules of how one creates art. By changing those rules, I'm able to become the, the creator and the sole practitioner of my practice, and I am in control of every aspect of it, including its distribution. That's what technology has afforded me. It's opened up and broken free of the bound, the old ways of doing things. Now, in the process, you will see today that I can you, create a work on the stage that incorporates technology in a very traditional way, but I can also create work that's only seen on the internet. I can create works that can be burned on DVD. I can create works that can be seen on smartphones. That's the change and the difference. In seven short years, technology has reduced in cost, every aspect of it, including from production to the hardware, has afforded artists who have the access and the opportunity to create so many amazing things. And also, it's available to anyone with a vision, an artistic and creative vision. So now, we've opened ourselves up in the world to new and exciting visions and voices and art making that we would have never have heard or seen. And that's what's really great about what technology brings to the art making process. Now, the piece that you're seeing today is truly based in a global connection. I had the opportunity to work with artists from across the globe. Two of the performer, uh, composers, one, Textile Audio, is based in Australia. And also, Pollux, who is a 17-year-old musician based in the south of France. So I think I was thinking about that over the course of putting this piece together, that this opportunity to present to you at TEDx has allowed me to become a global collaborator. It's also allowed me to become a citizen of the world. Now, the piece that you're seeing today, Moving Through Shadows, is based upon my own personal journey of dealing with glaucoma and the fact that I've lost vision in my right eye. Look for that movement motif. And as I was putting together the movement, the visuals, and the sound, I found that it spoke to something much, much, much larger. We all, at some point in our lives, are moving through the shadows, struggling to be seen and heard. And so, I'm embracing the fact that technology allows me to tell my story and tell a story that can hopefully be embraced by the world. And it has become a beacon, not only through the uncharted territory and the, the wild, wild west of technology, but it has become a beacon for artistic and personal freedom. So, without further ado, I'm presenting to you Moving Through Shadows, as performed by the incredible Stivers School of Performing Arts Dance Ensemble.
such short blood. Oh, oh, look, they are coming. No, no. Super flood. They're super flood. Super coming. Emerald super green. Super flood. Super so flood. Concerto Baroca. Emerald green. Espanol. Concerto Baroca. Espanol. George. Woods. Lavender. George. Neon yellow. Woods. Woods. Lavender. Lone yellow. yellow. Light, light whiteness. Lone, lonely. Sapphire. White whiteness. Pink. Sapphire. Chocolate brown.